taking place, how the issue affects us on the Sun Coast. Out of prison, then right back to jail. What investigators say a convicted felon did in Sarasota. Your Sun Coast News starts now. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us. A show of solidarity in cities all around the world today with the message of abolishing the death penalty. World Day Cities for Life is being observed in some 1,800 communities across the globe, including here on the Sun Coast. Taking a look at the history of the death penalty in the U.S., the electric chair was first used back in 1890, and America started using lethal injection in 1976. According to the Death Penalty Information Center, U.S. executions have rapidly declined since peaking in 1999. One of today's gatherings is happening right now in Venice. ABC 7's Rick Adams is joining us from Epiphany Cathedral Catholic Church with more tonight. Rick. Yes, Haley and Scott, dozens of people have already made their way into this church here. They are hoping that one day there is an end to the death penalty. This is a scene that's being uh, broadcast and seen worldwide at 2,000 different locations. I'm now joined by Marietta. She is a guest speaker here this evening. And Marietta, you can come on in here. And uh, what will you be talking about this evening? Well, I'll be talking about my own experience of the death penalty. My youngest daughter was a kidnapped murder victim in the state of Montana. And the man who took her and took her life was um, uh, uh, eligible for the death penalty. It was a capital crime. And I asked for the alternative, which was mandatory life imprisonment with no chance of parole. And I guess the big question that myself and probably a lot of folks out there have is why would you not support the death penalty with this horrific crime that happened to your family? Well, first of all, my faith calls me to believe that all of life is sacred from womb to tomb. And then um, for me, it's a matter of how do I honor my little girl's life, the goodness and beauty of her life. And to become that which I abhor, somebody who kills people, it is, it would just be an insult to her beauty. And is that a reality, you think, anytime soon, an end to the death penalty? Well, I'll take tomorrow if it's possible, but um, we're working at it. And I think what's important is that people be educated because mostly they respond with a gut-level reaction to these horrible things that happen, and they are horrible. But um, uh, we, be, we demean and degrade ourselves when we take on the same mindset to solve our problems as the offender did. All right, Marietta, thanks so much for sharing your story with us, and uh, best of luck with things. Thank you very much. All right, and we did have a chance earlier to speak with Bishop Duane. He is the bishop here in the Diocese of Venice, and here's what he had to say. Maybe the usefulness of something called the death penalty has expired. Um, you know, the death penalty was established quite some time ago uh, with the responsibility of states to protect their citizenry. Well, I think there's a lot of other ways we can do that now besides taking the life of someone. And also, special lighting will be going on here very shortly. That's uh, another push to end the death penalty. Reporting from Venice, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. President Obama and other world leaders are in Paris today for a major summit on climate change. The Conference of Parties, or COP21, is an annual forum with the goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. In his speech today, President Obama said the U.S. is prepared to act but also stressed that this must be a global effort. He also aimed to ease concerns from critics who say that reducing carbon emissions will lead to a slower economy. We've proved that strong economic growth and a safer environment no longer have to conflict with one another. They can work in concert with one another. President Obama today met with the president of China, whose country is the world's largest pollution emitter. The Chinese president said any agreement must take into account the differences among nations. And here on the Sun Coast, scientists and environmentalists see changes to the environment firsthand, including with ocean acidification and sea level rise. The community is so centered around the water, they say it's important we take steps to preserve our environment. This community is vulnerable to the effects of climate change on a number of fronts. Sea level rise is going to affect Florida 
more profoundly than probably any other part of the United States. How many people come to Sarasota to just go out and go fishing and enjoy time on the water? A lot of that stuff may change in the future if we're not careful to protect and preserve the environment that we have. Moat Marine scientists say they plan to continue to monitor the effects of climate change on local waters. Let's going to check on our local climate tonight with uh, meteorologist Steve Newman, who's in for Bob tonight. Steve? I don't think there is a better climate across the country right now than we have here in Sarasota, across most of southern Florida. Temperature at this hour is 77 degrees, 2.68. Still not too bad with an east-northeast wind at 8. We take a look at our almanac for today. We're still considerably above normal. 63 for last night's low. We should be 57. 83 for this afternoon's high. And that's a pretty good temperature spread. That's very comfortable for me. I like it this way. 76 would be the average for this time. It's been as cool as 30 back in 1959 and 87 back in 1994. It is going to be balmy out tonight. All evening great for going outdoors, sitting by a cafe. 75 at 7 o'clock, 73 at 9. Fog and low clouds forming in the interior uh, in the overnight hours. I'll tell you more about that in the complete forest forecast coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Steve. Sarasota police are investigating a crash that killed a professional motorcycle racer. Police say 27-year-old Michael Corbino of Longboat Key lost control of his motorcycle on South Tamiami Trail near Selby Gardens early Sunday morning. His bike hit a curb and he died at the scene. His 22-year-old passenger remains in critical condition at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. Corbino was a professional racer. His father, Michael Corbino, owned Corbino Galleries in the center shops until 2003. His mother owns an art gallery. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says a couple who told a man to slow down while speeding down their street was then threatened with a gun. Willie Lewis Jr. is charged with two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Investigators say Lewis was recently released from prison after serving time for robbery. He's accused of threatening a couple with a gun after twice speeding down Skyline Place this weekend. Deputies were able to later track him down and the vehicle that he was driving. Lewis has since bonded out of jail. To campaign 2016 now as Florida's two main political parties are turning in the names of the candidates who will appear on the March primary ballot. The Florida Democratic Party earlier this month placed Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley on the ballot. The Republican Party is submitting the names of 14 candidates, including Donald Trump, Ben Carson, Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and Carly Fiorina. All candidates have until December 14th to request the Secretary of State's office to remove their names from the ballot. For instance, Bobby Jindal is included on the ballot, but he suspended his campaign earlier this month. Well, Black Friday has come and gone, but shopping season is only getting started. True. Coming up next, we take a look at Cyber Monday. Could this year break online shopping records? What does it mean when New South Window says Factory Direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at Factory Direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Fort Florida Home. Bye, Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Right now, buy two windows, get the third free, plus our lifetime warranty. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. Kalen's Furniture, where beautiful interiors happen every day. Award-winning furniture store. Don't miss Kalen's Furniture annual warehouse sale, November 27th to 30th. Save up to 80% off with some items even below cost. You'll find beautiful furnishings for your entire home. Everything has been drastically reduced and must be sold to make room in Kalen's huge warehouse. November 27th to 30th only. Don't miss it. Kalen's Furniture. Your dreams, your style, our focus. Get Black Friday pricing all month long during the Black Friday Blockbuster Sales Event. Going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota, where you'll always get better prices and a bigger selection. Right now, save over $3,000 off a new Dodge Grand Caravan or save over $3,600 on a new Dodge Journey. Stop by today and get up to $6,000 off a new Chrysler Town & Country. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. The Holiday Millionaire Raffle is back with the best odds to win a million dollars on New Year's Eve. Plus, they're giving away money every week. Yeah. Honey, you have to try this. And with so few tickets available... Holiday Millionaire Raffle tickets are going fast. Come on! 
You won't want anyone to know about it. Get your Holiday Millionaire Raffle Ticket today. Nothing to see here. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. I wish we could move this election up. You know, in a lot of countries, you're allowed to pick your date for the election. I want to pick my date for the election. I want it like next Tuesday. There's still almost a year before that election, and Trump is bringing his campaign to the Sun Coast. I'm Alan Cohn. We'll have that story plus our roundtable discussion. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Here's what's coming up tonight on ABC 7. Along with Black Friday, the Monday after Thanksgiving is typically one of the busiest online shopping days of the year. And as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates shows us tonight, this Cyber Monday may go down in the record books. Bo Beth? Well, on Friday, parking lots and shopping centers all over the country were packed with shoppers. But this Monday, things were significantly different with shoppers turning to the Internet for Cyber Monday. It's easier, it's at home, I can decide, I can put things in my cart and delete instead of going to 10 stores. Ruth Brown is among the 121 million Americans shopping online this holiday season. But it isn't just the convenience of the internet driving the sales, it's also the deals. It saves us as consumers a lot of money. Uh, the cost for shipping has come down, it's free in a lot of cases and uh, the, the deals are out there. According to WalletHub.com, retailers like Groupon, Belk, Bonton, and JCPenney's are among the best for discounts. And prices for items like jewelry, cameras, and tablets have been slashed from 35 to 72 percent off. But while people are taking advantage of the deals, cybersecurity expert Ari Weinstein says there are some precautions you should take before completing your purchase. Be careful about deals that you get in your email. Oftentimes, uh, there's what's called phishing emails, which are emails with links to things that ask you to enter personal information or your credit card information that might not be legitimate. Weinstein says the solution is to not click on the link and instead go directly to the website you want to make the purchase. He also has tips for sites that require you to set up an account before buying the item. We recommend that customers use strong passwords, don't use anything that has your phone number, your address, your birth date, your kids' names, anything like that, and they try and make it unique. Despite the security concerns, online shopping is up, beating in-store Black Friday sales. But not everyone is jumping on the Cyber Monday bandwagon. No, I don't like cyber shopping. The only thing I order are books when I know what I want to buy, but otherwise I have to go and touch it and look at it and feel it. I have the ability to actually go into the stores and shop, so um, I'm not hitting the online deals yet. Now, this year's Cyber Monday sales are expected to surpass last year's record of $2.6 billion. In fact, some retailers like Target have had so much traffic, it has overwhelmed their website. Back to you. Thank you, Bo Beth. You know, I used to hate online shopping. I never even looked. Really? But now that they started to offer all these great deals over the past couple of years, I've kind of gotten into it over yep. these. And they started on Thursday with these online deals. Yep. So. And then a lot of them also offer the free shipping, so that's yep. another enticement to oh i know i have fallen for all of it <laughs> we'll be right back with your forecast christmas tradition by lux art silks where more is merrier make your holidays sparkle with style browse our amazing showroom cute collectible cottages and beautiful christmas displays find the inspiration selection and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright christmas traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit christmas trees every size shape and color and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays christmas traditions by lux art silks where more is merrier visit us on new 301 just a quarter mile north of university parkway Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you.
Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass ebook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now, 800 290 0352. 800 290 0352. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, the season of sharing lasts all year. Buying a new Subaru means you'll have more time to share with your new vehicle. Choosing a Subaru could even mean more time to share with the ones you love. And the Subaru Forester shares more accumulated awards than any other small SUV on the road. Lease a new Subaru Forester for as little as $224 a month during the Subaru Share the Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Hi, I'm Scott Bush, CEO of Suncoast Blood Bank and a 12-gallon donor. Crisis struck close to home in my family last year when my five-year-old nephew, Evan, was diagnosed with cancer. Evan needed the life-saving gift of platelets. You can save lives by donating platelets. You never know when someone you love might need this precious gift. To find a Suncoast Donor Center or Bloodmobile near you, call 1-866-97-BLOOD or visit scbb.org. Live here. Give here. Stays here. When the going gets tough, they get tougher. I came here to play. I'm going to go for it. This week on Millionaire. Tonight at 7.30 on ABC7. Well, Steve's in for Bob tonight, and not a bad day. Not a bad day. It's great to be running with the big dogs here for the yeah, first time. Nice. Well, Bob takes his birthday off. I yeah, know. hope he's happy, enjoying happy it. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Bob. <laughs> what yes. a great day for, no matter what you're doing, whether it's a birthday party or just down I visiting. I golf. <laughs> That's Probably. what he did. Probably. I'm going to bet, yeah. yeah. It's a great day for no matter what you want to do. Look at the, the webcam we have from Punta Gorda. And you can see only a few puffy clouds. And oh, looking out over the Peace River, a great day. Uh, a few showers further east and south of us, but it was dry over the Sun Coast. And it should stay that way one more day. But we have some rain heading our way. Not showing up on radar yet, but uh, the key is a cold front approaching from behind me and moisture coming up from the south and the southwest, all converging on Thursday. So there's your headline. Uh, look for scattered showers to increase on Wednesday. And here's the key to our pattern. I told you earlier that this is about the best weather in the country. Look at this is a little bubble of great weather down here. The rest of the country pretty much wet and cool. Uh, however, for the next uh, several weeks, we're going to be controlled by a subtropical jet. Let's call this the El Nino jet that will control our weather patterns right on through the winter, bringing us warmer than normal weather and wetter weather. Every once in a while, we're going to get some rain and showers starting with this Thursday. And up to the north, we have a blocking ridge of high pressure all across Canada. It's forcing these storms to come around to the south, but it's also blocking any real cold Arctic outbreaks from diving down into the United States. So that's probably going to be the pattern for most of the winter. A little cold air could sneak down, uh, but not as far south as Florida, I don't think, this season. Uh, that big uh, blizzard and ice storm we had to the south has split into two parts. One is going over the Carolinas, Tennessee, and Georgia, and the northern part is a little snowstorm going on across the Dakotas. It's a flash flood watch from Atlanta up to Chattanooga, Nashville to about Roanoke, Virginia, and we have a winter storm warning in effect from the Twin Cities down to Omaha and back through the heart of South Carolina, winter weather advisory surrounding it. It is cold across the northern part of the country, not bitter chill as we can occasionally get this time of year because of that ridge up in Canada blocking the coldest of the year, 46 in St. Louis at this hour. And in San Francisco, they're getting some rain as a, a regular period of rain from El Nino is bringing them some relief from their drought. Now, I want you to take a look at the direction the wind is blowing on this forecast from our uh, RPM computer model. We had the winds uh, bringing in scattered showers from the northeast. Well, it's now coming from the southeast. And as we move into Tuesday night into Wednesday, it switches more to the south. This is Wednesday. Not yet. The rain has not got here yet, but we will see increasing chance of rain Wednesday night into Thursday, peaking off midday Thursday, I think, with an 80 percent chance of rain. It's a convergence of a cold front coming in from the north and a surge of moisture coming in from the Yucatan Peninsula, all arriving at the same time. I think the heaviest rain is going to be in far southern Florida, but we'll get the backside of it a few showers. Not a lot of heavy rain, but here's the weather headlines you need to remember. We will have fair skies for tonight, except for inland fog and low cloudiness. And for tomorrow, we'll have a um, mostly sunny day, but rain becoming likely by Thursday. 
And the outlook for December, as I mentioned, it should be wet and warm because of that El Nino jet stream blowing over us from the southwest. Here's our forecast out on the bay. Winds east 5 to 10 knots, seas 2 feet. And our forecast for the next seven days shows we will have increasing clouds and chance of rain on Wednesday, peaking out Thursday and then drying out for next weekend. I'm not 100 percent positive next weekend will be dry, but we're hoping for it at this point. We'll update you as the week progresses. Thank you, Steve. Northport is kicking off its annual 12 Days of Giving. The city's food and toy drive kicked off today and will run through December 11th. You can give back to the community by donating unwrapped toys, unperishable food items, and toiletries. The donations will be distributed to Northport neighbors in need. Donations can be dropped off at Northport City Hall or the Morgan Family Community Center. Coming up next, ABC 7's Linda Carson will take a look and take us on a tour of a house that's made out of a shipwrecked boat. With a ghost thrown in for good measure. This week, the great Made in America Christmas is back. Is there anything Made in America on the list this year? On the hunt for your one gift that will deliver joy and American jobs. World News Tonight. Viewers to the rescue. Yay! Are you in on World News Tonight with David Muir? Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers, and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. Braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. The all-new Fiat 500X crossover with 70 standard and available safety features including options like blind spot monitoring, forward collision warning, lane sense lane departure warning, and all-wheel drive. The capability you need now comes with the style and personality you want. More style, more personality, all for less. Go to Sunset Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. You can help make the wishes of Suncoast children and seniors come true this holiday season. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilkes. Join ABC7 and share your good fortune by becoming a Salvation Army Angel. Just stop by ABC7 or Sunset Kia in Sarasota, Bradenton, or Venice to pick up an Angel Tree gift tag. It will tell you what a local child or senior citizen is wishing for this holiday season. Thanks for your generosity and happy holidays from ABC7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. At Granny Nannies, we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve, compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. They say your home is your castle, and now we have a story about a man who built his own. He broke all the rules in the construction, but it still stands today. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more. Linda. Well, in the 1960s, a beautiful blonde came from New York on a modeling assignment on Minnesota Beach. While touring the area, she spotted an unusual house on a wooded acre of land with a view of the Gulf. She bought it for $5,000, and what a story it has to tell. Diana Harris's home is built of the pieces of a shipwreck. During the 26 hurricane, a Cuban sailing smack uh, sank off of Minnesota Key. And the only thing that was visible was a big, tall mass that stuck out of the water. 
A man known as Mr. Buchanan salvaged some of the wreck to build himself a house. He was the manager of a small little beach place out on uh, Minnesota Key, and after the hurricane, he started picking up bits and pieces and evidently had bought this property, which is an acre, and decided that he wanted to build a house here. He had a unique way of moving it there. He also was said to have owned a very large open Packard car, very spiffy car for those days, and he would pile all the pieces of wood into the back of the, of the, the Packard, and basically there was no road on Minnesota Key at that time, so it was, must have been difficult to get the car up and down the key. After Diana bought this house, she discovered more about the man who had built it. He had been a, uh, a reporter for the London Times. He at one time had served in the army in India and had lost part of his arm. But he did manage to build this house. The supports in that room uh, are four masts off of the, off the ship. One still has the iron rigging on it. And then the bedroom is a round room, a water tank uh, off of a sailing ship. The room's main support is a gooseneck boom. Mr. Buchanan's wife, Mary, had been a big time opera singer in Europe. In her later years had become quite deaf and didn't realize always how loud she was singing. Inglewood residents could hear her for miles. Then Mr. Buchanan died. She didn't have any money, and L.A. Angel once again told me that uh, she hired somebody to uh, row him out to sea, and they buried him at sea. She came home, packed a bag, and left, never to return again. However, strange sounds continued to come from the shipwreck house. People in the neighborhood would be awakened at night by somebody a soprano voice, very loud, singing the scales. <laughs> so if you live in Inglewood, listen out for her. Diana's house is made of wood. Now, usually that would mean a termite problem. But she says since it's been a long time saturated under the seawater, termites are not a problem for her. I guess the salt keeps the them salt, away. The salt, yeah. It, the wood's too hard for the yeah. termites to get into now. Oh, boy, creepy story. All right, thank you, Linda. Have a great night. See you at 11. It's the grand opening of Nissan of Venice, and we're celebrating with the ultimate Altima giveaway. Hundreds of new Nissans are here. 2015 Nissan Rogue or 2015 Nissan Versa, only $179 a month. Visit us 24-7 at NissanofVenice.com. Dial star star Nissan from your mobile phone for Nissan of Venice. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Did you know Sleep King Sarasota has the best selection of Simmons Beautyrest foam and latex mattresses? Sleep on luxury with the new Simmons Beautyrest, full or queen size, only $499. Take it, Larry. Buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Hey, 
free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs, only at Sleep King. Come in for a two-hour free nap, only at Sleep King in Sarasota. It's the ultimate Ultima grand opening giveaway from Nissan of Venice. Register to win a new 2016 Nissan Altima today. Plus, save on new 2015 Nissan Sentra from $139 a month. Visit us 24-7 at NissanofVenice.com. Dial star star Nissan from your mobile phone for